LHS, the school came up with the idea of college and career academies. More specifically, the three academies at LHS will be the STEM Academy, the Health and Human Services Academy, and the Arts and Businesses Academy. In this video, we will be exploring the Health and Human Services Academy. Our mission here at LHS is to build on our tradition of educational excellence by challenging students to continually develop their skills as lifelong learners and responsible citizens. With the addition of these academies, we also hope to empower our students to pursue their interests outside of school by equipping them with the specific skills they need. Each academy will have a community-focused partner with the community organizations for internships or other related experiences and will build connections with local colleges for additional experiences. Let's start with health. Classes here at LHS that focus on the health component of the academy are gym, weight training, health classes, and nutrition. Uh, the hope next year for the Health and Human Services Pathway um, is um, to teach exercise physiologies, both a cognitive aspect of the course and an applied physical aspect of the course. So in the cognitive portion, we learn things like anatomy, structure and function, uh, insertion and origin of muscles, uh, biomechanics, kinesiology, metabolic cycles, um, all the things that you would need to um, you know, become a personal trainer, a uh, CSCS certified strength conditioning coach. Um, an athletic trainer, for example, uh, even some intro stuff into uh, perhaps orthopedic surgery or any other type of sport-related medicine that you would want to get into. We might even talk a little bit about sports psychology and some of the things and how your, uh, your mood and, uh, and ideas play a function in, in how you grow, nutrition um, as well. Uh, I'd also like to teach a physical portion of that class where then we take that knowledge that we learn in the applied or in the cognitive aspect and then go into the weight room and you can show me how you would train yourself or someone else and you know show me and write your own programming and show me how what you learn can apply to the things you do athletically as an athlete or as a trainer or as a physical therapist or any other type of health pathway that you would be interested in getting involved in. I teach biology and also the college level classes for biology and anatomy as well. For biology, we are a science class, so it continues on with a lot of science skills, but then also talks about living things. For anatomy and the college classes, you'll also learn how to do work for a college level class, what assignments are like in college level classes, and we go way more in depth with some of the topics. A lot of students go into medicine, nursing, pre-med, veterinary science, but we also have some other people who take these classes just because they're interested in the topic. Some clubs that you might want to join if you're interested in this pathway might be the Wellness Club and the Just Say No SADD Club. Sports are also a great thing to incorporate into your life if you're considering joining this field. Now let's talk about human services. Some classes here at LHS for human services are creative foods and child development. Within the human services pathway, it focuses on preparing for employment and careers that involves relationships relating to families and human needs. This can mean counseling, mental health services, family and community services, personal care, and consumer services. Um, I like that it teaches me things that I don't normally learn at home and I use my cooking skills. What I like about this class is that you can feel safe. You can build bonds in this class. When we do um, labs in class, they're fun. So for me, with psychology, my favorite part was the fact that I could understand not only my own emotions better, but other people's emotions. Some of my most memorable moments have to be when we would watch different videos of how people would react with different um, mental disabilities and reading uh, my favorite book from that class, A Child Called It. I like that this class gave me a new perspective on how people think and behave. I think my most memorable moment was the last lecture project. We were given an assignment to create a presentation where you would leave your parting thoughts and life lessons if you were to die tomorrow. If you're someone who's very introverted and you don't like to participate in class or you're very quiet, it might be something that you want to start uh, practicing those things because if you're working in a human services 
pathway, you're going to have to interact with people. People who are able to communicate, who are not introverted, would probably be best and benefit the most. But that doesn't mean that you can't be um, a quiet individual and still, still, still be able to work in 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 the human services field. Many of the classes available here at LHS will work to get you started with industry-related credentials, and they may also prepare you for programs that you can take at the Lebanon County Career and Technology Center. Some CTC classes for health and human services include culinary arts, pastry arts, dentist assistant, and medical assistant. An anonymous medical assistant CTC junior says, one thing I believe students should know about the CTC medical assistant program is how you need to be prepared for communication and work. An interesting aspect about the class is learning about the human body and the different activities that we do. You should try the medical assistant program to learn about the human body and how to care for people. Joining this program will teach you about the body and how to be professional and responsible. LHS also has some clubs that would help you in this field, such as Student Council, Interact Club, Key Club, National Honor Society, SAFE, slash GSA, and Try High Y. Another program in this area will be added next year, the JROTC program. The Junior ROTC program is a new program designed to teach high school students the values of citizenship, leadership, service to their community, personal responsibility, and a fulfillment of self-accomplishment that comes with working with their peers. Uh, an important thing to remember with Junior ROTC, it does not in any way, shape, or form mean that you're making a military commitment. You're not joining the Army, you're not doing anything. It's simply a way to help you improve yourself, both mentally and physically. But if you do choose to go into those career fields or that pathway, the military will certainly set you up for success later on in life. Students are going to be exposed to military history, tradition, military practices, how they do things like physical fitness, but also how to become a good community member. There will be several community projects where you'll work with your peers and with people from the Lebanon community. You'll learn how to march, you'll learn how to conduct physical fitness training like they do in the military, and develop other skills in the military like land navigation and things like that. I think one of the most important things to think about when you are debating whether or not you should become a member of JROTC is that you'll be a trailblazer. You will forever be remembered in the history books of Lebanon High School as the first one ever to start this program at Lebanon High School. Being enrolled in the JROCT program will be beneficial opportunity for me and others in order to learn stances and forms within the military branches. Uh -huh.